Hey, 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 Saggy, it is CJ here. Welcome to my channel, welcome back. I hope you're doing really great, Saggy. Um, I actually wasn't gonna do this reading. Um, I wasn't planning on it. Um, it is Saturday, the 27th, 2024. But I have this niggling uh, feeling within my intuition, my gut, whatever, um, that I need to do a reading today. Um, and I'm not, I don't know if it's going to be for very many of you, all right? But I, I, I'm just following through on what my guides were um, wanting me to do. So Sag, um, general reading, for sure. Um, and take it if it resonates, leave it if it doesn't, of course. Um, thank you, as always, for all of your love and your support. You mean the world to me. Um, and if you want a uh, private re reading, Okay, hold on. I just got to like just slow down because uh, the energy I was picking up before. Um, if you'd like a private reading, all that information is down below. Okay, so um, I was just getting this feeling of um, someone out there, and I don't know what's going to come out, obviously, right? Um, I always get a feeling for um, there's someone meddling <laughs> in your life. I, I can't beat around the bush. That's what it's feeling. It feels like someone is in your vicinity again i don't know it could be at work it could be at home it could be in your neighborhood it could be in your friend circle it could be even be in your um you know your intimate family um whatever it just there's this feeling that someone is trying to sabotage you someone is trying to um manipulate you i think you're on to it um i'm pretty sure you're on to it that's the feeling i was getting um but i think you've just kind of almost had enough of whatever this is um, and I just felt like drawn to do this reading and see what the advice, what God and Spirit had for you, um, if it is for you, right? As I said, it may not be for hardly anyone. Um, so let's just get right into it. Um, God, did you open up with my animal deck, my divine animal deck? Let's just start there and see what wants to come out, okay? Um, again, maybe this was a message that I just needed to tell you as a confirmation for you. If someone's in your, someone's playing around, someone's manipulating you, pretending that they got your back, but in in actual fact they don't and also I was getting this energy of eat, um what's the word spirit not not equality like everything out of whack everything out of whack okay as if you were doing a lot and the other and it felt like one person said the other person is not okay okay so let's just get into the tarot let's see what this is about um nevertheless I hope if you're coming to this on Saturday you have a beautiful weekend <clears throat> all right Sag let's begin all right, spirit, what was this energy that I was picking up on? Okay, wow, wow, okay, interesting. The bottom card just slipped out and on the very bottom and the foundation of the, the reading. Sag, we have jackal. Ooh, okay, this is about truth, number 44. So fours, first of all, for me, are about solid foundations. Um, obviously, solid foundation if you're building a home, whatever, where, where you're standing on the ground, but even solid foundations <coughs> within relationships, right? Having a solid foundation and what that requires is truth. Now, when we add up 44, again, it's fours, um, that's an eight. I feel like this is a path that you have been on for a while now. That's what I'm picking up. Now, eights for me are about individual life path that you're on at this time. But there's something now, they're, they're giving it to me like some cycle, okay? Um, let me show you this, but the jackal is representing here a trickster. Um... Well, my heart is just kind of going because the energy is quite strong. Um, uh, jackals represent, I, I mean, maybe not in real life, but, well, in real life, maybe um, not too familiar of the jackal. Um, but in this deck, the jackal is representing like someone that's playing, um, playing around, um, feel like they're, they want to take your scraps. That's what I'm feeling, okay? They probably want all of it, but they're taking your scraps, but with the, okay, let me rephrase. They're taking your scraps but with the intention that they want it all. Well, this is wild. I mean, I hope this isn't for very many. Um, and ironically, let me show you this. We'll see when we get into this. Oh, okay. Um, here's that card. So the mask is on. It's followed by happiness. Sag, I'm, I don't like this energy right now. Um, happiness is a beautiful card. It's the dolphin. It's number 42, which is a six, which is a beautiful balance. But what I'm feeling here is someone's trying to take your happiness Okay, someone is trying to take your happiness. This is the wildest um, feeling I'm getting. Followed by rhinoceros, which is moderation. It's 32, it's five, it's a change. 
Um, but this, the rhinoceros is, you know, it's a very volatile animal, right? And I'm feeling like this could be representing your energy at this time, Sag. Like you're getting, you're getting pissed off. I, I do feel like you know about whatever this is. Um, and I feel like you have been moderate for a long enough time. You've been trying to keep yourself chill, calm, uh, reflecting in your good heart of whoever this is, kind of giving them the benefit of this doubt. I don't know what this is, but, um, <clears throat> but you may be starting to get pushed to the point where you've had enough. Okay, let's see what this is. Now, I want to see what was the card on the bottom because I've seen something coming up. The Wolverine Fierceness, number five change again and the moder the rhinoceros was moderation number 32 and they're very similar colors okay just going to show you this to you okay let's put this back wow <laughs> so sag i don't know who this would be to you obviously if this is your reading um it would be different probably than everyone else's because everyone's on their own journey Let's get into this. Let's dive in and see what, what spirit is giving to me here. Wow. Okay. Let's begin, please, spirit. For Sag, for those that this is our reading, show me clearly, please. What is this about? Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We, oh my gosh, we have beaver, which represents work, and bull, which is the sacrifice card. And then we have the butterfly on the bottom, the soul. And then we have even red fox strategy. Ooh right ears ring right now that's okay like that happens to me often when i'm doing readings i feel guided to take this so we will do that okay spirit what is going on okay so we have the beaver as i said that's number 27 as up to a nine nines are typically um you're coming to a close of a cycle which i feel i want to say yay good um when we think about a beaver i have beavers where i live they are very family oriented, orientated um, in the way that, you know, they build their dams that are homes for their little babies, for their family, right? And they're constantly working. Um, it's weird, though, because I'm getting this. Sad that with the beaver, I'm really getting this feel feeling here that someone is pretending that they're working really hard for the benefit of you and maybe your family or whatever um but in truth it's just a bunch of bullshit it's a bunch of bullshit so i feel like this is representing the other person this card it comes with the bull card as i said sacrifice it's number 40 so there's that four the foundation i feel this is representing you you have made a lot of sacrifices Oh, and I just feel like you are you are getting to that place where you're like, uh, how much longer can this go on? Could even be a coworker. I'm not sure if I said that. Could be someone that you work with. Um, again, they're not giving me specifics here, but the feeling is pissing me off. Like I'm getting, I'm feeling a little frustrated. No, I wouldn't even say a little. I'm feeling quite a bit of frustration, quite a bit of um, like just even annoyance. Okay, there's a bull. And look at that storm above. Lightning bolts are coming down, hitting to the ground. So there's something stirring here. It's almost like, oh, spirit. Sag, if this is your reading, I almost feel like someone is intentionally trying to sabotage you, yet they put on a big smile and pretend to pat you on the back or, oh, I'm really appreciative of what you do. But it's all just a smoke. I'm hearing my, my guys are saying smoke show. It's a smoke show. And you're aware of this. I know you're aware of this. Even with the horns of this bull, this is feeling like an in tennis, in tennis for me, as if you were like so honed in on this person. Um, but yet there's some kind of tie. There's some kind of tie that is keeping this still going. It's been a while since I've gotten this amount of energy from these cards. Okay, let's see on the bottom. So we have the butterfly, Sag. This is powerful. Um, what number was this? 40, yes. And this was 9, right. Um, butterfly is 28. That adds up to a 10. So it is 1, right? 1 plus 0 is 1, which would be the magician 
in the um, tarot, which is just informing you that you have a lot of um, manifestation ability here. Um, you can manifest what you're wanting, even if it feels at this time that you are not able to. Um, but also tens are the end of a cycle too, right? Like nines are coming up to it. Ten, you know, ten of wands, ten of swords, right? That's the end of a cycle. Um, this is the soul. Butterfly. So whatever this may be, I, I seriously feel like it's someone. It's going to be interesting getting into the tarot. Um, this has changed. I don't want to be drastic and say it's changed your soul. Because our soul stays intact, right? It's our human experience that we have here that screws us up mentally our emotions and all that kind of and even physically right can make us sick there's something powerful going on though here that there is a transformation that will happen you may be feeling like you are that caterpillar that is in that cocoon right now and you may be feeling um well whatever a caterpillar may feel and that i would imagine it's quite painful the body is completely changing um, from one insect into the other, right? So it's a metamorphosis, but it's got to be pretty difficult. Even my hands kind of have a little shake to this right now. So the butterfly, okay, followed, followed with the red, uh, the red fox, which is building a strategy, and it's number three. So threes for me are that energy of coming into alignment, um, body, mind, soul. They're giving it to me, you know, physical, emotional, and spiritual. Um, there is a need here, Sag, for you to make a strategy. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you have the red fox, right? And that is feeling like, and we had the jackal before. Um, <clears throat> jackal feels like the other person involved here. Fox feels like it's you. Um, so this is all about what is that strategy? How are you going to get out of whatever this cycle is? How are you going to do it? There's a need to start planning. And there's a need for you to trust your inner guidance system. Okay. I want to get into the tarot. Let's see. Uh, if I need to go back to the cards, my guides will definitely guide me to. Show me what this is about, please, Spirit. What is this about? Um... Show me what's happening for those Saggies that this is their reading. Because I, I, I feel like whatever this may be, like, it feels like it has, it has, I'm not sure you feel free. I'm not, I don't think you are. I don't think you could feel free because you've sacrificed so much for whatever this connection, this tie is, um, that you haven't, Like, I just feel like you're caught in a web, a web of lies, but you know about the lies. This is really deep. Okay, let's see. Oh my goodness. Okay, five of swords. Yes. So five of swords, that's our air energy, right? So you might be dealing with um, a Gemini, a Libra, or Aquarius. Five of swords is a pretty ruthless energy because someone is trying to win at all costs. This is what I'm picking up here. Oh gosh. Okay. So you see this guy's holding his head. There's another guy at the very back. I don't know if you can see that it looks like there's like a little bit of blood back here because he's been injured. So someone is trying to take what is yours and trying to cause havoc is what I'm hearing. It's followed by the nine of wands, Sag. This has got to be your energy as well because it's wands, first of all. It could be Aries Leo. You might be dealing with one of them. Um, maybe they're really stubborn and they refuse to back off. They refuse to get a life. They refuse to. Uh, there's just a pity party going on here. This is the wounded warrior. Wow, these cards. Wounded warrior, right? Not, you know, still determined to stand and keep going. So I'm not sure who this is representing. If it's you or the or whoever the other person is. I think it's probably both in some way. That you are not giving up on having your freedom, your life, your joys. But you're done kind of with the sacrificing. I think you've, you're, you're pretty done with the sacrificing. But also I'm getting this energy from the other person and i'm going to say person because i really am feeling one it could be more but i'm picking up on one um that they're also really stubborn like there's some kind of um woo is me energy coming through we have the king of swords next so um this oh wow king of swords again it's our air energy this could be, you may be needing to take legal advice. You may be needing to get um, some kind of assistance from someone that has got more power, a lawyer, a judge, a police officer. Depends on how this is, right? Um, let 
And then we have the King of Cups. I feel like this is representing how you've tried to deal with this person. You've tried to be kind. You've tried to be giving. You've tried to be emotionally supportive. Um, you've tried to even be a sounding board. But to no prevail is what I'm feeling, the Hermit. Okay, Virgo's card. Let's see what cards want to come out. Very interesting. All right, let's begin, please. For Sagittarius, for those that this is their reading, what is this about? Can you show me more, please, Spirit? Okay, those two did, I, they flipped and I'm taking them. Oh my God, we've got Judgment card and the Ten of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom. And the Three of Cups is sticking out. I'm going to put that back, though. Let's just talk about this. This could be in your family, Sag. Your immediate family, if you have an immediate family, could be extended family. Again, this could even be what you'd call family. Normally, the Ten of Pentacles makes me happy because the Ten of Pentacles is like, hey, we've got plenty of money and we don't have to worry about that. We can ha we have enough to leave for our children and, you know, can be a windfall, can also be an inheritance in that way, but it's financially secure. But I'm not liking it so much right here because the judgment card is coming out and it's really feeling like someone's screwing around with what you would consider your family. Maybe your money, the sacrifice. Maybe you've been paying for everything and the other person's a leech. I know I'm saying harsh words. I can't help it. This is coming from my guides in the energy that they're giving me. And judgment, major arcana here showing up. This is again like the judgment card traditional tarot it represents people basically dead right like they're they're white they're gray <clears throat> they're in kind of caskets they're kind of reaching up like this um you know and they do get resurrected but this is a very it's a very low vibrational energy when you've been when you're in when you've been pushed to be in that position you are going to rise i will say this because you are going to rise there is justice i want to say on your side here even though we don't have the justice card um, you are going to be rising out of these ashes. Uh, we got to keep going. Now, we got the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom. You may be thinking of becoming in, more independent. Um, like, let's say there's someone in your life that, um, you know, a, a family member will put it that way, um, and you have sacrificed so much, and this person keeps trying to fuck you up, <laughs> is what I'm going to say. Fuck up your success. Fuck up your dreams. Fuck up what you want. Somehow there's this meddling. Uh, it feels quite quite lower vibration, i got to say. Like very shadowy kind of energy. And I'm wondering if at times you've had the thought of like, well, I just need to go on my own. I need to get my independence. Because Nine of, of Pentacles is independent finance, financial um, money. Ten of Pentacles is the, the family. This can also be representing that you have been made the one, uh, and maybe it's not just money, right? But you get my gist, like um, being the support system. Um, and, and I think there's a str strategic plan you got to start putting in. But four cups next, wow, man. Like, when is this ever going to change? When is this person ever going to like get their own life or, you know, get out of my life or however this is, when? This four cups is like, I am waiting, 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 and I'm tired of it. It's followed by the nine of swords, and I'm getting stressed about it as well. It's causing me anxiety. Maybe I have to spend too much money on them. Maybe, the, you know, they're just takers. However this is, I know it sounds harsh, Satch, but this is the energy I'm getting. For some of you, this could be a lover, right? This is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, what else did I say? Okay, we have the earth. I didn't mention that, right? So that is our tangible things, the earth things. So that is, you may be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I feel like we... Kind of got everyone out here other than your energy wands. Could have been someone that romanced you, wooed you. But again, I'm getting this sicky feeling. A sicky feeling with this card. Uh, oh, like, oh my god. How can I'm kind of cringing right now, Sag. It's an energy of someone that kind of like thinks that they're so like that they can woo and they can, you know, woo woo you and they can um fool you and that they think they're so sly and they think they're so smart they're not freaking fooling anyone that's what i'm feeling and it's like time to fr i'm telling you man time to walk away from this it's time to leave and head for the sun three of the three one two three four five six card the three of swords whoever this is they've caused a lot of turmoil 
devastation on the emotional level for sure um, and mental anguish. They, but that's their intention. But their intention, they might not even see, be able to have the awareness, the clarity, the, in, the insight to be able to even see what they cause. If, you know, because that happens sometimes here where, you know, individuals are not able to, to see it. Lost, very lost. So they cling on. Okay, Spirit, what a reading here. Let's continue. What else can you show me for Sag, for those that this is their reading? Show me more, please. Show me more. Show me where, they're, where, where Sag is heading or the strategy. Show me more here. Okay. We've got Eight of Pentacles on the bottom. Oh, wow. Five of Wands. <clears throat> you, Aries Leo. Arguing, fighting, battling. Drama. Conflict. Eight of Wands. This is fast forward movement, so this is positive. Something's going to be changing soon. We have the Hierophant, which is uh, number five, which is again about change. Hierophant represents tradition. <clears throat> but not only tradition, Harvard represents wisdom, deep, deep wisdom, all that you've learned um, and you putting it into practice. Again, this could be someone that you were married to. Got to say it because it does represent a marriage too. So, you know, and then we have the eight of pentacles on the bottom we're working on things. But again, this is feeling like strategic. Okay, Saj. That's exactly what's going on here. So Spirit is guiding you to um, make some strategic plan. I don't know what that would involve. Maybe moving, um, if you can, right? Not everyone can do that. The world's at a pretty crazy, crazy place energetically right now. Everything's super expensive. You know, um, I mean, it's a shit show in a handbag right now, but there's a need to become strategic. So if this person, maybe they don't even live with you, but I, I, I don't know. I just feel like there's energy. Again, this could be a coworker or something. You got to make some strategic move, plan, using your brilliant mind so you can block this. Okay, I'm going to move into my fountain deck, I feel. I want me to move to my fountain there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do it for a little bit. Let's see. Page of Swords on the bottom. Wow. Okay, so this is, again, the mental stuff, the communication. This can represent <coughs> messages coming in because we did have that truth card, right? The jackal card. See, now that you see the truth, maybe it's holding someone up to the truth. Page of Swords. We got the nine of swords once again two times now this is showing up so this is causing frustration anger sleepless nights whatever this is three of cups okay could be one of your friends and then we have the ten of wands so it does feel like this will be coming to a close in some way here and then we have the six of wands next which is victory okay two of cups let's see what wants to come out of this deck I, I do want to say also, Sage, <laughs> with this Hierophant, I feel like it, there is success with this card as well. Because when you look at how he's sitting there, he's at the bottom here. Let me hold it better. He's sitting at the very bottom of these beautiful golden stairs, right? And he's got a huge smile on his face. He's sitting very, very comfortably. So in that way, I feel like it can even be saying you just got to be strategic in your mind of not letting this person... Um, be able to get into you, get into your mind, into your thoughts. I know that's really, really difficult depending on what situation this is. Um, but again, I'm getting, I'm getting a feeling that this, this is not going to go on forever. That's for sure. Oops. Okay. Let's see. Spirit, what else can you tell us about this reading 
Three of Wands. Okay, there'll be movement. There'll be movement. Two of Wands is sitting, contemplating, no action. Three of Wands is there's going to be some kind of movement. What kind of movement? I don't know yet. We have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom, so it does seem to favor you here. The Wheel of Fortune is going to start moving. <sighs> so that you can leave this behind. And again, this isn't going to be for everyone's reading, but if this is your reading, it is about detaching, cutting the cord here from whatever, whoever this is. <laughs> it is someone. Eight of Cups, being able to leave it behind. There's a Justice card on your side here. I feel like this has been a long, worn out process, whatever this is. Let's continue. Thank you so much, Spirit. What else can you tell us? about this reading for Sagittarius. How am I doing over here? Okay. We've got a few, okay, hold on. Ten of Wands where the deck split. Ace of Cups, a brand new beginning in your emotional well-being. Oh, oops, drop some of the cards. Let's put them back. Oh, it's Justice again. Okay, you want me to talk about these? They want me to look at it, okay. Um, <clears throat> justice with the moon you may not see how this is going to pan out trust, trust, trust it is all working out for you it doesn't feel like it right now I completely understand it but don't give up here justice is coming through for you just hold on till the light shines is what I'm feeling okay, these were right underneath here thank you okay so bottom line though is you're going to have this new fulfillment coming in this new beginning where you're emotionally fulfilled because in here Sag I don't like the feeling I'm receiving it is like frustration again it's frustration it's anger it's mm, um, it's getting to be too big of a pill to swallow anymore what comes out queen of coins the high priestess and the four of swords wow so, Queen of Coins, this is going to be, you're going to be receiving the stableness. Life is going to get stable again because I feel like it's been off kilter for a long time. Even when things start to go really good for you, is this is what they're giving me. Even when things start to go pretty good for you, um, even if it's for a, a while, all of a sudden this other person will do something that is like, oh, shit, and then you're right back to where you were. <sighs> Vampire Energy. Take, 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 you know? But again, I'm, I, I'm not sure they're clear in their mind, okay? That's what I'm going to say. So Queen of Coins, that's representing the stableness that is coming towards you, where you're moving towards. Solid ground. Um, and obviously being able to have enough finances to be able to take good care of yourself. It's followed by the High Priestess, Pisces card, intuition. High intuition. Listen to what your intuition is telling you. Um, it's probably giving you little nitbits of what is about to come. And like I said, you're pretty, you're pretty, you're pretty intuitive. So trust what your intuition is telling you and guiding you on. Followed by the four of swords. <sighs> Rest, recuperating, taking time out to get back to center after all of this shit. Truly, what I'm feeling. Okay. All right, spirit. Is there anything else that you have to tell Sagittarius regarding this reading? Wow. Breathe, Sag. Breathe. Try your very best to keep yourself calm with whatever this is that you're dealing with. Okay. Um, easier said than done. Look at that Ace of Cups again where I stopped. But look to the, look to the near future of what's going to be waiting for you. Emotionally for, emotional fulfillment here. A balanced heart where you're not carrying anger. Of frustration, groundedness in the security of knowing that you're you're okay. Um, okay, show me more, please, spirit. Is there anything? Is there anything else? I almost feel like they want me to go to my lights ears again. Okay, we'll go three times in. One, <coughs> two, three. <coughs> wow. Three of swords on the bottom. So I'm telling you, this has taken a two of swords to the three of swords, the knight of cups once again, the wheel of fortune once again, six of swords. Um, you are moving away from this. This is this, whatever this connection from another lifetime, this lifetime, however this is, it will be null and void soon. 
Um, but that three of swords showing up, it's like, man, it is really screwed around, screwed with you. They've screwed with you. Shoot. Okay, I'm going to grab this. Okay. So we're going to leave it there. I feel like going back. We're going to go back here for a few minutes just to see if there's anything else that Spirit has. <sighs> okay, Spirit, thank you so much. Is there anything else you have to tell, Sag? Any bite? <gasps> Sag. I did not know that was flipped over. That's the devil. Holy shit. <sighs> Completely kind of took my breath away there because I was wondering to myself if the devil was going to come out. Um, and it freaking did. I just didn't see it in this deck before. So the devil, Capricorn's energy. This person probably feels like this to you. Manipulative, controlling in their subtle ways is what I want to say. But in the behind the scenes, they are controlling in a big way. They do not want to let go of you. They want to have control. Uh, this is, I don't like this at all. So, very toxic and maybe even a little sick in the mind, okay? Not healthy, not a healthy mind. Okay, bottom, the Knight of Pentacles. So I just might take a little while. <laughs> don't want to say that, but again, this is the slowest night in the deck, so that's why I'm saying it might take a bit before this is over. But again, this is a card of strategic, strategic planning. Tr cross every I, dot every T, don't miss anything. Um, however this is sitting with you, just take your time. It's followed by the Emperor, which is you be coming into your power of, not that you're not in your power now, but taking your power back. Right? And you deciding who is going to be part of your life and who is not. And who you'll you'll be with moving forward and who you won't. Right? Because the emperor, he takes care of his community, his empire. But again, I'm sure he doesn't stand for the devil kind of energy. Right? Probably gets kicked out. And it's followed by the ten of wands. So it is coming to a completion. It's coming to an end. Holy cow though. But when, right? I, I understand. Okay, I'm going to go one more time because honestly, I didn't know this card. Had, it must have flipped out before I put the, the deck away. Okay, that happens. Okay, Spirit, thank you so, so much. I hope that this is helpful for Sag that's going through this. Is there any final message you have out of Light Seers for Sagittarius moving forward? Anything else that you can tell them? Mm, that's way too many. Uh -huh. Way too many. So let's just put those back. We have the three of wands again on the bottom. Anything else, Spirit? Might be it. Oh, nope. Not it. Five of swords again. So Spirit's just reiterating how frustrating this must be for you. And how, like, just even painful to some degree, depending on how this hits, right? Um... Ugh, got to get rid of this. Got to get rid of this energy. You got to move away from it. Okay. Bottom of the deck is a hangman. Oh, and I love this because it's followed by the king of wands. I love it. I love it. I love it. Number 21 or 12. Sorry. That's a um, 12 is a three. Um, again, Sag, hangman is about seeing things in, from a different perspective, but I'm taking it a little bit further here because they're guiding me to the whole crown chakra all around the head is lit up. This is really, I feel like seeing things from every point of view, strategizing again. Um, and then things will shift. It's followed by, as I said, the King of Wands. You're not giving up. You, there's a lion behind you. Maybe some of you are dealing with a lion. There's a lion back here that's trying to like encroach and the King of Wands is saying, no goddamn way. I am staying firm and determined. So I'm not giving up and I am... I'll take that line down if I need to, right? Because I got a wand there and it's on fire. So, holy cow. And then we have the four of swords again. So whatever this is, it's definitely taking its toll on some level of you. <sighs> okay, Sag, this is where we're going to close this. All right, so I hope this helps you if this is your situation. 
you know, I hope it's not, but um, time for a change here. This is a big shift coming in for you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, stay in your grace. Um, this is, there's, this person is very, they're just very, uh, no, I don't know what to say, so I'm not going to say anything, okay? This person is just a little dude. All right, let's get a treasures from Takashi. Let's get some advice from here. <clears throat> All right. We have issues on the bottom. Let me read this. Um, identify and, oh my God. Identify and face your issues. Yes, it may feel uncomfortable at, at first, but how many times do you wish to travel the same route? Current issues that you have been working on are being resolved. Oh, that's nice to get that confirmation, hey? Okay, so they are saying that. Other forces are at work here. Take your time and know that all the pieces of the jigsaw puzzle will slot in eventually. Well, my goodness, Spirit, thank you so much. Oh, you couldn't have picked a better card. Um, wow. Okay. <sighs> Powerful. Let's see if there's anything else. Anything else. So trust, believe, breathe, stay calm. Know that things are working behind the scenes for you and this will be resolved. All right. Cool. Okay. Thank you so much, Spirit. I appreciate you so much. One card just came out. Stillness. Okay, and then we have wisdom on the bottom. Oops. <clears throat> Excuse me. Take time to, to be still to appreciate the beauty in every moment. Quiet your busy mind. Allow the still softness of peace to envelope you. Don't rush into anything, just sit meditatively and in the stillness your answers will, may be found. To attain what has eluded you, be still and allow it to land upon you. As a feather would gently float into your hand, so do your wishes descend upon you. Okay, so it's happening for you. And then we have finally wisdom on the bottom. Listen, living your knowing and walking your talk, this is turning your knowledge into wisdom. You can do it every day and in a million ways, not just through talking about it. You are always wise, so do not let self-doubt undermine your knowing. Be wise in your, in your decisions as you take into account all circumstances. The wisdom of the river of knowledge is available to you. All right, Sag, so there's that strategy card, right? Um, all right, this is where we're going to close out your reading. I sincerely hope this helps um, you. If you're going through this, um, know that it's going to, it's going to be removed, okay? And what's going to be replaced is going to be something much better. That whole new cup of, um, the, can I speak? I don't know. You know, the new cup, right? That brand new ace of cups that's coming towards you. I feel it's going to be just, oh man, I um, bet you can't wait. All right. All right, Saggy. Again, I hope you have a really good weekend. I'm gonna try and get a reading maybe up on um, for Monday. We'll see how it all goes. Almost February, babe. So, you know, um, let's make these days count, right? All right, Saggy. Mm, I love you. And big, big, warm, loving hugs to you. You're gonna get through this. I know it's tough, but you're gonna get through this. You're a strong, strong person. All right, Sag, I love you. Take care and hope to see you again sometime. All right.